everyone and welcome back to Triton TV. Today I'm going to make a cool video that I've wanted to make for a while. I'm going to make it as fast as possible. And this video, as you can see by the title, is how to move um, a game from one drive to another just using Steam. Pretty sure you can do it manually, but this way Steam knows exactly where to look. So, we're going to go ahead and start a screen recording. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so as you can see I have Steam up right now and um, I want to install this Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game. I've had it on my wish list for like two years. It's 75% off today, so I'm like, okay, 15 bucks for probably a pretty epic game. Perfect opportunity. But what I want to do is I want to use um, the D drive, which only has five gigs available. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. And I haven't played Hitman in forever. It is 68.4 gigs. I'm going to move it to my backup drive just so that if I ever want to restore it, um, I can just swap it even though it'll take a while. Okay, we're back. Um, what I'm going to do is, okay, let's start here. I'm going to blur out some stuff. Um, or no, I'm not. Okay, so if you go up here to the right and you go to Steam, you go to Settings, and you go to Settings, you go to Downloads, Steam Library Folders. What I need to do first is I need to create a new steam folder in my j drive and the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on this plus here and then it'll automatically pick drives that you're not using so you can see i have 1.7 terabytes free this is my four terabyte backup um, drive so we're going to click that and we're going to add a folder boom simple as that i'm pretty sure you can just manually add a folder that says steam watch let's go to j yeah i'm pretty sure if i just put steam library it would automatically detect it. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do what I was talking about. Um, we're gonna move Hitman. So we're gonna right click, go to properties, go to local files, and we're going to move the install folder. We're gonna move it to the J. This is gonna take a while because it's 60 gigs. At least these are all SATA. Um, it's uh, M.2 SSD to a SATA, so six gigs a second should be the fastest we can get. Um, let's go ahead and open up the task manager and it looks like, yeah, it's using a lot of memory to move things past. So it looks like the J drive is going to be writing at 150 megabytes per second. Um, I wonder if it'll show it here. Nope. So this is kind of the only way to know how long this is going to take, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that open without touching it. So 150 megabytes per second. Let's do some math here. So we have 64 gigs times a thousand, which will tell us how many megabytes divided by, let's say an average of 100 megabytes per second. That's divided by seconds. Should take about 10 and a half minutes to do this. So we're gonna let that do its thing and we'll get back to you here in a second here. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that do its thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's a quarter of the way. One moment, we'll be back in a second. A few moments later. And we're back. Alrighty, so it took about 10, maybe 12 minutes to move the files, and so check out on screen now. Um, just to show you, uh, if you go to properties and local files, you can see now I have moved this to the J drive. If I open the file explorer, um, you can see now we have 72 gigs mm -hmm. earlier. We only had like, sorry about that, um, 60. We didn't have much, but now we have enough to play this. Dragon Ball Z game, so I'm gonna go ahead and download that bad boy. Where's it at? Let's install this bad boy. We're gonna install it on the D drive, which is my fastest um, drive other than my boot drive. Let's see how long this takes. Take a peek here. Gotta love having the Ethernet hooked up with, I think about 450 
megabits per second, so this shouldn't take too long. 20 minutes, nice. So that is how you move a folder. You just right click um, in your library, go to properties, let's go back to that. Yeah, so right click, go to properties, local files, and then move install folder and select. And then if you need to create a folder, we're gonna blur some stuff out here. Uh, actually, we don't need to. You go to Steam Library Folders, and then if one of your drives doesn't have a folder, you just click on the plus, and then it'll show the drives that don't have a Steam Library app or um, folder. And then you can make a new folder, and then move it over to the folder there. Really simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button to push this video to more people, so I can hit a thousand subscribers and quit my real job. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good one. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy.